hi everybody welcome back to bring life indoors it's moira here um yeah hope you're having a beautiful day um it's wonderful um it's actually very cloudy it's been raining it's been raining we woke up with showers saturday morning and uh yeah it's been that throughout the weekend and um it seems like it has stopped but it doesn't look like completely it might rain again so we'll see i must say i'm enjoying the rain i'm enjoying it very much um my garden outside is loving it so what i did saturday morning uh when i saw it was nice and cloudy and drizzling you know that kind of rain that um it's not harsh it's just nice and soft it's it's, it's very calming i love it i decided to go put on my wellies <laughs> go out there and move around the plants i've wanted i've always wanted to move around and and yeah i never did it you know and i thought i would take advantage of the weather i love working in the garden when it's cloudy or when it's raining but not raining hard like just the soft rain one is very refreshing two you don't get hot and sweaty you know and you can keep on going because um yeah you're not working it's not hot the sun is not scorching you so i had so much fun saturday basically my whole morning that's what i was doing um just 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 moving plants around which have which i've wanted to move around and thought i'll take advantage of it and you know it's a beautiful time to actually plant it's a beautiful time to 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 reshovel things if you want to do that in your garden because of the rain and because it's a growing season so yeah, if you are like me and you love gardening, not only indoors, but outdoors and uh, uh, use that, use that um, uh, to, to your advantage, the raining season to your advantage. So anyway, enough with that. Um, but what am I doing today? Uh, I thought I'll talk about the pots, uh, planting pots, which I love to use and which works for me and why I use them. But before I go into that, I firstly want to say thank you so much for, for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for keep on coming back. It means a lot. I really appreciate you. And above all, my favorite part of this is the comments, you know, where we get together and chat. I enjoy your comments. And, and I must be honest, um, ever since I've started this channel, I've never had a comment which was rude or ugly or funny. You know, people have been very friendly and loving and caring. And I really want to appreciate you for that. Thank you for, for being so kind. Thank you for being so kind. And, um, and if you didn't have anything nice to say about what I'm doing, thank you for reserving your comment. <laughs> I mean, that means a lot. Not that I'm not up for criticism. I mean, it makes us all grow. I mean, I'm open for it, but I really want to say you've all been good to me. Um, I've never received any ugly word. I've never received anything that is demeaning. Um, it's always been good. It's all have been pleasantly good. And I really appreciate you and love you for it. And thank you for being such a wonderful, wonderful viewers. <laughs> um, yeah, so as for today, I wanted to talk about the pots, pots which I use around my house um, and why I use them, the pots I plant in. I'm going to start with terracotta pots. Now, I, I love terracotta pots. Uh, most of my pots around the house, well, not, yeah, yeah, most of them are terracotta pots. I love them. I don't plant everything in here simply because uh, you need to be very careful because some plants which love to be on the moist side of things will not appreciate terracotta pots but plants which don't which likes to be on the dry side of things will definitely appreciate terracotta pots now i love these pots for that um and um i love the fact that they are porous and and you know they let out moisture and if you put anything in here that likes to be on the dry side of things um it, will, it helps the soil to dry up quicker and uh, you've got less chances of root rot with these. You've got less chances of root rot. So I'm going to take you around my house right towards the end of the video just to show you the plants I've, I've had in there. So 
with these are plant things like succulents all my succulents are sitting in terracotta pots and i plant like i say plants which requires which actually appreciate to be on the dry side of things you know which i don't need to be on top of uh my game when it comes to watering you know so this is what i would go for many times um uh, for plants like that because then i don't have to worry about my soil drying up too quickly you know and then you've got your ceramic pots uh with a drainage hole i must be honest this one i bought it without a drainage hole and i drilled it myself i have a video I did it a long time ago where I was showing how to drill a hole on your pots. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the pots I drilled a hole on. I, 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 it, it, it was a set of three and I love it. But then I didn't like the idea of it not having a drainage hole. So I drilled the holes on all of them. All three of them have holes. Uh, these, I love using them for plants which likes to be more on the moist side of things uh which will appreciate not drying out too quickly you know like your uh your peace lilies your fans your you know anything that doesn't like to dry out and i must say i still do sometimes plant things that like to be on the dry side of things in here but then i become very careful with watering because these ones they don't let out moisture so uh they retain moisture so what happens is because they are glazed um and that you know so uh and uh, it's a ceramic pot is placed it doesn't let out moisture like this one does so what happens is um then the soil stays moist for a long period of time now then you need to be very careful with your watering because then some plants won't like that then you can get into cases of overwatering your plants if you are not careful so when i have plants in here which like to be on the dry side of things which i do have i must be honest i'll take you around i'm very careful with my watering i make sure that that plant dries out in between my waterings before i water it again so you need to be you need to be you cannot follow the same schedule as you would with terracotta pots you know you have different schedules when it comes to watering simply because they don't dry out they don't take the same amount of time to dry out the other one takes quite a while then one of my favorite i must be honest is your catch pole they don't come with drainage holes that's why we call them catch poles or we call them cover pots whichever way you want to look at it they are more for decorative purposes the way i look at it uh, one thing i love about these is just a minute, I forgot to bring my plastic pots to the front because that's up. That's what I'm going to. Alrighty. So one thing I love about these is you can actually, when you buy your plant, it comes in a nursery pot like this, a plastic nursery pot. And you can actually just take your catch pole or your cover pot and then you place your plant in there without having to remove it. Out of this plastic pot to plant it in your terracotta pot or your ceramic pot so this is what I love about these and the beauty about this is um, you know uh, you you don't need to replant you don't need to repot you just need to make sure that you've got the right size pot to fit in the plant which is sitting in a plastic pot just to put it in there and when you water you just take this to your zinc you water that let the water drain out and once it has drained out then you can put it back in the catch pot or you can put bottom water straight from your catch pot that's why i like i love my my cover pots for um when i go around watering my plants those sitting in in catch pots i can just put water in here let my plants sit in there and drink from the bottom and later on I come and throw out the water that is remaining now these are the pots I use around my house the other ones are these ones I must say I love these also for bottom watering is the same aspect really aspect as uh, the same as compared to these um, I use them for bottom watering so you you, you would usually have a 
a string which you stick into the soil and it comes through at the bottom and then you put water in here and you have it sit and it goes the pot only goes up until that high so you make sure that your pot doesn't touch the water only the string touches the water and it will drink when it's only as much as it needs to drink and then again you still take this if you don't like the look of this you put it in your catch pot or your cover pot you know and all that so these are the pots i use around my house and some i'll show you the cute little ones also which i use around my house but they all fall under the same categories it's either terracotta or your glaze pots or you know ceramic ceramic pots or plastic pots uh which are your nursery pots you know and all that and again with with uh nursery pots um plastic pots i love them for plants which likes to be more on the most moist side of things um again it doesn't mean i don't use them for plants which likes to be on the dry side of things all i do is watch uh uh become i become i become watchful when it when it comes to watering because then i need to know what i'm dealing with once you have planted something in here you need to know if it's a plant that that wants to be more on the dry side of things you need to be careful as to how you water it if it needs to be more on the moist side of things still you need to make sure that um it's happy so yeah so um i'm just gonna take you around the house and show you exactly what i'm talking about with actual plants inside the pots if i may put it that way Alrighty, I'm gonna start here. I've got my Marble Queen Pothos and this is a catch pole, believe me or not. Um, it, it's, it's absolutely stunning and uh, it's sitting, I've planted it in a plastic pot, you know, and like I said, all I do is uh, I just put water in there and I let it sit and drink and one, once it is done, uh, drinking from the bottom I throw away the excess water that is left in the pot and that's it um, the beauty about this is you can still have an elegant pot while you know that your plant is nice and healthy and sitting in a plant with a drainage hole because believe me or not holes are very important not that I don't have pot plants which are not which are not planted in pots without holes. This is the same thing. This is a cover pot. And then um, what I've got here is a plastic nursery pot with my philodendron. So um, it's the same story, you know. And this also, this is a cover pot. And, you know, and that's my uh, recently, not so long ago, propagated, uh, it's doing very well, arrowhead plant. And uh, yeah, same thing with it. It's 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 in a it's planted in a plastic nursery pot, uh, but sitting in a cover pot. Okay, excuse my lighting. Here I've got my Peperomia amigo Marcelo. Is sitting in this is a terracotta pot, and um, I planted in a terracotta pot because it needs to it loves to be on the dry side of things, not on the moist side of things, you know. And it's one plant, if you overwater it, it will rot. I mean, you know, so um, it's loving this terracotta pot because it doesn't hold on to moisture for too long and it's doing very well. So that's, yeah, that's why the choice of pot. It came in a plastic pot and I decided to move it out of the plastic pot and put it in a terracotta pot. And then here I've got my um, sod fan, my Boston fan. Um, as you can see, it's sitting in a catch pole. That's a catch pole, but I planted it in a plastic pot um, simply because it's a fan. It loves to be on the moist side of things. So, um, and uh, the plastic helps to, to retain moisture that it doesn't dry out too quickly. So yeah, and it's loving it in there. And as you can see, there's another terracotta pot. I've planted my my heart my heart leaf philodendron and it's doing absolutely well and uh here's my 
other terracotta pots you know um here i've got i've planted my um what do you call this again my chinese evergreen Yes, my Chinese evergreen. It loves to be on the dry side of things and it's loving this pot. And believe me or not, I've got my uh, Anthurium. Anthuriums, um, uh, most people say they like to be on the moist side of things. But what I've seen with this one is, believe me, I let the soil go bone dry before I water it. And it does very well for me. I've seen that it doesn't mind uh, to be left to dry out and it does very well for me and it's one of those plants if you overwater them you will have root rot and that's why I've planted it in a terracotta pot It's doing well it doesn't have any issues um, you can still plant it in a plastic pot or a, or a, or a um, ceramic pot as long as you make sure that you don't overwater it and then I've got this umbrella plant I had a, I did a video last week about it is sitting in a terracotta pot it likes to be on the dry side of things and is doing absolutely well and here's my uh, pink princess philodendron it's it's also doing very well it likes to be on the dry side of things and it's loving the terracotta pot you know so you can see most of my most of the plants I have in terracotta pots they're really enjoying it is you know and here's another uh, anthurium here I have um this is my arrowhead plant and it's sitting in a plastic nursery pot as you can see and and i've put that in a cat in a cover pot it loves to be on the moist side of things so i don't let the soil go completely dry otherwise it will droop and um you know but it does recover once you give it water i mean same thing with this one um, you know um it loves to be on the moist side of things so i've planted it in a plastic pot and then put it in a cover pot and here's my peace lily it loves to be on the moist side of things so i've i've planted it in a plastic pot and put it in a cover pot you know then i've got my thanksgiving cactus and um it's in a terracotta pot and it's doing very well because it likes to be on the dry side of things and you can look down here um here is my Hoya, is doing very well. I've gotten so many new shoots. I mean, this is new shoot, new shoot, new shoot, new shoot, new shoot, new shoot. Is doing very well. Is sit, I planted it, I took it out of it. When it came, it was sitting in a plastic nursery pot and I put it in a terracotta pot and it's doing absolutely well. And this one is my Roger Congo philodendron. It's also doing very well in a terracotta pot. And this one is my... Um, what do you call it? My marble baby rubber plant is also doing very well. Now, I'm not going to take you through all my plants. I'm just showing you. Then you've got um, this um, olive bonsai. Uh, it loves to be on the moist side of things, but I let the soil dry out in between watering and it's doing very well. You know, um, I've never changed it. I've never moved it from the pot that it, that it came with. Um, it's been two years. It was a gift from my husband uh, two Christmas ago. It was for my. It was a Christmas gift from my husband, you know. Um, so yeah, and here's my succulent, my cactus, and my succulent. They're all on. on they are all on uh, ceramic uh, terracotta pots, you know. And uh, if you look here, I've got my mosa plant. I've transplanted it. It was, I had first planted it in a terracotta pot. If you follow me on, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have noticed that. But then it was not doing well. It was, the soil was drying up way too quickly. You can see with the yellow on the, on the side, it shows that the soil was drying up way too quickly. And I was not on top of my game when it comes to watering. Then I decided to put it in a plastic pot. And I believe it's going to do well from here on because it doesn't like to dry out at all. It doesn't like to dry out. It likes to be on the moist side of things. Here I've got my Monstera. I've planted it in this big uh, ceramic pot and it is doing well. 
Um, I let the soil dry out in between waterings and uh, yeah, it's doing absolutely well. And here's my golden pothos. It's sitting in this beautiful catch pole, but it's planted in a plastic nursery pot, you know. And um, yeah, on this side, I've got my peace lily. It's very happy. It's sitting in a, um, as you can see in there, I'm going to try and pull it out. Uh, you see, it's sitting in a, it's planted in a plastic nursery pot. But then I put it in a catch pole and it's loving it because then they would love to be on the moist side of things. So that's why, uh, that's why I, if I did, if I ever decide to change it from a plastic pot, I'll definitely plant it in a, in a ceramic pot, you know, uh, because both retains moisture. And then you've got my philodendron and then you've got my philodendron siloam. Uh, is I've planted it in a, at first I had planted it in a, a plastic pot, but then I decided to actually move it and put it in a, because it was, it, it was, it was holding on to moisture for too long and I didn't like that. And I decided to put it in a terracotta pot and I love it. It's happy in here. It's loving it. It's doing very well. And like I say, for, with terracotta pots, I love it for plants that, doesn't like to be on the moist side of things. They like to be on the dry side of things. So um, it lets out moisture uh, out. It doesn't, it doesn't hold on to moisture and the plant loves that. So um, another example, here's another philodendron siloam. And like I said, while I love terracotta and some plants I have them in terracotta. Here's the same plant that is sitting in a ceramic pot. It's not a terracotta pot and is doing very well. But again, I need to be, I need to be very careful with my watering um, to make sure that I let it dry out in between watering, that I don't overwater it. Because trust me, I've killed one of these, a few, I've killed this plant a few times with overwatering and then they get root rot. So I've learned my lesson over over the years that if I'm going to plant it in a pot like this one, uh, I need to be very careful with my watering because they are not going to dry out at the same time. This one takes a while to dry out and I must make sure before I give it water that it really needs to be watered. Then here is my fiddle leaf fig. It's sitting in a beautiful catch pole, as you can see. But then it's planted in a plastic nursery pot. Um, same, same thing with it. I let it dry out in between waterings and then um, give it water when it needs water. And here is my, uh, my, my Fatia Japan, uh, uh, Japan, what? I need to get the name right, but it's Fatia. Uh, it's doing very well. It loves to be on the moist side of things. So I decided to leave it in this plastic nursery pot and give it just a beautiful, nice catch pole. That's it. That's it. And if I ever decide to repot it, I'll either give it a bigger plastic nursery pot uh, and then have to buy a bigger catch pole or just buy a bigger uh, glazed pot or ceramic pot. And um, here I've got my other piece, Lily, is sitting on my dining table and uh, it's huge. It's doing very well. This one, as compared to the other one, this one is sitting on, I've planted it on a ceramic pot. As you can see, it's not in a nursery pot like the other one sitting in a cover pot. But trust me, I treat them the same because these pots they, the peace lily loves, loves it very much because it retains moisture. It doesn't dry out too quickly. And it's, yeah, it's loving it in this pot. It's really loving it. Alrighty, then we can talk about cute little pots. Um, yeah, then, I mean, these are tiny little pots which I plant stuff in. I mean, who doesn't like cute little pots? These ones, what is nice about them is that they've got drainage holes both of them, they've got drainage hole, which is very nice about them. And then, uh, if you look here, I've got a, I've planted in a glass bowl. 
it doesn't have a it doesn't have a draining hole obviously uh, but uh, what I usually do I let it dry out in between watering and I water it thoroughly and then I make sure that I let out excess water out of the glass I tilt it over to let out any excess water in it and then I leave it and then I have it sitting in this uh, glass jar and I've got it covered with um, with a cling wrap to create humidity that's my my, uh, my Calathea Marantha and then this one is the same thing it's a catch pole you can see you know um, yeah so these are the kind of pods and then if you look here I've got a teapot um, this is my recently I recently planted this it's my propagation it's skin dapsis uh, it's doing very well um, so yeah but it's planted it doesn't have a drainage hole I didn't drill a hole in that teapot it's doing super well now when when I do that um, I love it I love to do it with small little pots than big pots because then I'm able to control it um, you know I can just water it and let out excess water when it's small like that when it's tiny like that it's easier you know yeah so um that's how it looks i pulled it out of the thing just for you to show it uh, to show you out of the glass um it's doing very well actually it has taken root because this is new growth It's doing super well um so yeah um when it comes to pots to be very honest it's really entirely up to you what pots you would you would you would like to plant in when it comes to your indoor plants it's really entirely up to you it's about what works for you now what i've shared here with you today is what works for me is what i love i love catch pots uh, cover pots or catch pole in the sense that they come in different shapes and styles and when it comes to decorating your home and uh, making your home look all beautiful and all that um, you can really uh, achieve what you the style that you want to achieve most of the time with cover pots because uh, they don't always have the pots that I'm looking for speaking for myself the color I'm looking for or the style I'm looking for with a drainage hole. So in that, if that's the case for me, I go for a catch pole and uh, buy a plastic pot, plant what I, what I need in a, plat in a plastic pot and then put it, in my, put it in a cover pot of my choice, knowing that it will go with, uh, it will, it will, it will, it will, yeah, it will, it will go with whatever it is I want to do uh with it in my house you know it will achieve that at which i wanted to achieve in my house so it's really entirely up to you it's really entirely up to you um same thing with with um same thing with terracotta pots um you can plant absolutely anything in them but then you're gonna have to be uh uh, you're gonna have to be on top of your game when it comes to watering whether it's watering less or, or watering uh, Regularly, you know, you're gonna have to know what you're doing if you're gonna plant everything you have In terracotta pots believe me. There's nothing wrong with that. They they have a style of their own. I love them um, But I also love other pots. I love glazed pots. I love uh, Cover pots. I love all kinds of pots if I see something I like I buy it um, so like I say it's entirely up to you uh, you can really plant anything in here as long as you're gonna be on top of your game when it comes to watering and knowing exactly what you need to do with the plant that you've watered you've planted in there some might appreciate neglect and some might appreciate being mothered all the time and uh, yeah so that's all i have for us for today please if you have any comments please share them down below share let's talk what pots do you prefer are you like me you prefer a bit of everything because that's me i prefer a bit of everything i mean i use everything around my house tea cups i forgot to show you my tea garden in my kitchen i'll i'll show it right at the end of the, of the video i call it my tea cup 
garden <laughs> so uh, i planned in absolutely anything i can get my hands on as long as it looks cute as long as it looks beautiful and stylish like this skin that's is in this cute little teapot um so yeah as long as um i can take my plant can be happy in that pot why not you know so yeah i thought i'll share with you the plant the the the, the pots i use around my house how I used how I use them and why and I'm sure you've seen for yourself that um, uh, yeah I use them differently you know will be it dry side of things or moist side of things but that's all I have for us for today it's been fun thank you so much for watching uh, in ending this video I'm just gonna take you to my kitchen to show you my tea cup garden Alrighty, this is my teacup garden. Like I say, I plant in absolutely anything I find cute. And these are all succulents that are sitting in these beautiful cups. These are all succulents. And here's another one up here. It's doing very well. Now, please excuse the lighting. I hope you can see. And here is... Uh, string of pearls is doing very well so yeah and then here is <laughs> yeah my tea set and that's a ladybug it's a... so yeah there we go it's been fun thank you so much for watching have yourself a beautiful beautiful day bye